It's so good to be back in New York City. We've eaten pizza, we've eaten bagels, we've been stuffing ourselves silly. Of course, we're gonna check out some of the fine dining restaurants too. Tonight we're going to Per Se, Chef Thomas Keller's New York restaurant. It's his interpretation of the French Laundry here on the East Coast. It's had three Michelin stars since 2006, over 15 years. I think it's a classic for a reason, but let's go see for ourselves. As food bloggers, we spend almost all our money on restaurants. It's our job, but meals like this can be very costly. We set out to find out. Is per se worth the price tag? The hospitality at per se is unparalleled. We felt welcomed from the second we walked in the door. The staff was friendly, attentive, and warm. This was the best service we had in New York. One of the first things they ask is if you want to upgrade to any supplement dishes. We decided to share one classic menu and one with all the supplements and compare the two. The normal menu is $3.55, but the price for the elevated menu was $725. This was our most expensive meal ever. Our favorite dish of the evening was the oysters and pearls, a serving of oyster, caviar, sabayon, and chives. This signature dish really lived up to the hype. Although the supplement dish with tuna and cilantro oil was perfectly fine, we did not think it was worth the $60 upgrade. Stick to the classic. It wasn't difficult to choose to upgrade a salad to foie gras for only $30 more. But ironically, we actually preferred the salad here. Although it doesn't look like much on the plate, the truffle dressing really packed a punch. The most expensive upgrade was the truffle risotto for an additional $180. White truffle shavings rained down generously onto our plate, but we wish they'd been equally generous with the risotto. Sadly, there were only about four spoonfuls to scoop up, but they were delicious for $45 a bite. The fourth and final supplement choice was between a prime rib of lamb and Miyazaki Wagyu for an extra $100. It was perfectly cooked. The wonderfully marbled meat melted in our mouths. If we were to go back and add any supplement again, it would be this one. But was it worth the hundred bucks? That's a lot of money on top of an already pricey tasting menu. The meal ended with an attack from the pastry kitchen. An array of desserts landed on our table all at once. As sweet tooths, we were in heaven.
It was great to finally check out this fine dining institution, and we hope this video gives you an idea of what to expect when you visit. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andershusa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching!